Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a walk cycle and a run cycle for a very simple rig. Okay, um, I'm going to remember my animation rhyme, go to the frame, make the change, insert the keyframe. Now I'm in frame 1, so I make the change, and the change is the first pose. Okay, the first pose of the walk cycle. Uh, I'm going to grab the backbone, press R to rotate, select the backbone, R to rotate, leaning forward just very slightly. Uh, I'm going to move his legs now. I'm going to use the control bones at the end of the legs to move the legs. G to grab, move the leg forward. Generally with a walk cycle, less is more, so just small movements and that's the open stride. Now uh, if your legs are apart your body will be lower to the ground than if your legs are together so I'm going to grab this control bone press Z press G to grab followed by Z for the Z direction and I'm just going to move the whole body down just a little bit again less is more um, so I've done his legs, his back, and now his arms. Now, the leg nearest to me is stepping forward, so the arm nearest to me needs to go back just a shade. So G to grab, and I move it back. Just, a, again, less is more. The pose that the figure starts with, his arms are quite far out, so I'm just going to G to grab and just bring it back into the body just a little bit. And now I've got to do that with the other arm. Uh, G to grab, just bring it forward so you just see it peaking there. And again, G to grab, bring it into the body a bit. That should be fine. Okay, I think that's the first pose, the open stride. So uh, I need to select all the bones. I could just select the control bones if it was just his legs that were moving, but nearly every bone in his body is moving, so it's as easy to select them all. Insert the first keyframe in frame one is a location rotation. Okay, and uh, that pose is saved. Now I'm going to go to, I'm going to set the animation length to 20 frames. I'm going to go to the last frame, frame 20, and I'm going to insert a keyframe there. But this time, from now on, when I insert keyframes, it'll be available. Now uh, I'm going to copy this pose. I'm going to go to frame 10. One thing about a walk cycle and a run cycle is they are symmetrical. So at frame 10, I can paste the pose, but X flipped. Now hopefully the far leg has moved forward and uh, the near leg back. And now if I insert a keyframe available, now if I press play, I've got the most important po pose, the open stride, and that gives me a basic walk. Okay, so if we pause that. Okay, we have a problem. He's shuffling along. He's not lifting his legs off the ground. So how do we fix that problem? Okay, we go to the frame, make the change, insert the keyframe. So I'm going to go to frame 5. Okay, this is where his legs cross, and I'm going to select the far leg, G to grab, and raise the leg off the ground. Okay, now at this point all his weight will be on the near leg, so I'm going to just straighten that, G to grab, and just put that underneath him and a little bit straighter. And because his leg is straight, he will be slightly higher, his body will be slightly higher off the ground, so I'm going to do G to grab, Z in the Z direction, and just move him up just a shade. Okay, I'm happy with that pose. Now, before I insert keyframes, and you will forget this, make, make sure you select all the relevant bones, in this case all the bones, A twice, insert available, uh, copy the pose, Go to frame 15, 
and paste the pose X flipped and insert with all the bones selected available keyframes and let's play that and now he is walking slightly bobbing up and down and lifting his legs off the ground okay let's pause that okay so we've created uh, a walk cycle from two basic poses how could we improve the walk cycle well we could create intermediate poses um, and fine-tune those fine-tune the position of the keyframes and all the poses um, as you can imagine there'd be a fair amount of effort and give only small benefit so I'm not gonna bother I'm gonna say that's my uh, walk cycle complete now how do I save the walk cycle and uh, create the run cycle in the same file well, I'm going to go to the change the properties window to the dope sheet window. Uh, there we can see uh, the keyframes that form our walk. I'm zooming in with the mouse wheel. Okay, now that is in dope sheet view. If you go to the action editor view, you see that the current action, the default action is called armature action. Now if I click on there I can rename that so if I call that walk that action now has been saved against the name walk and if I open it up even further I can click the plus symbol and we've got a new action which I can call run and I'm all ready now to create the run cycle but I'm going to stop the tutorial there and call that part one and I'll do the run cycle